Hello friends. So once again, I welcome you to my channel. Last video, we have seen uh, the process control instructions. Most importantly, call and return instructions we have seen. On, already we know branch and uh, what is that? Uh, jump instruction and skip instruction. So that we have covered, but we could not do two more. One is compare, another one is uh, test bit. See, basically this compare instruction, mostly we use whenever we want to uh, do one branching based on comparison of two things, right? Suppose I want to see whether the register content is this one. If it is so, then only I will do this like that. So suppose uh, what I am doing is compare. Compare how we are doing compare in our system is by performing a subtraction operation. We compare two numbers whether they are equal or not. So how do you do that? Uh, the compare instruction internally performs a subtraction instruction and that subtraction instruction is said as non-destructive subtraction. The meaning is due to the subtraction operation none of the operands will be modified only the value of the flag register flags will be affected whomsoever they used to affect due to the subtraction and looking at the uh, value of the flag we can conclude whether they are same whether someone is bigger than the other or that it is lesser than the other like that so see how do we use this Compare instruction, mnemonic is compare, some processor write CMP also. So looking at the, because here we are doing generalized one, so I've written compare. Compare source, comma, destination we have written. And what it will perform from destination, it will uh, subtract the content of your source, right? And after doing this subtraction operation, the condition code flags based on the result obtained will be set or reset. And then looking at the particular flag, uh, based on the condition we are trying to see, we will make our decision what to do, whether to execute next instruction or to branch to a particular instruction, right? So, and another important point is neither of the operands is changed. It is also a subtraction. In case of subtract operation, in generally what we know, the destination will get modified. But in our compare instruction, source and destination, both will remain as it is. Only one new result is produced. So see here what will happen. One example so I am giving you, sorry. This is compare. How do you do? Compare, suppose C-O-M-P, A-R-E, or I can write C-M-P also. No harm in that. Depending on the processor, C-M-P. C-M-P, suppose I am writing C-M-P, has 10, comma, R1, right? That means what it will do, it will subtract the from the content of R1, it will subtract 10. And if the value is zero, right? If the value is not equal to zero, then I will do your some branching. So branch not equal to zero to L1. Say L1 is here. That means suppose I am using one loop, I am keep on incrementing the value of R1 and whenever uh, till the R1 value is not reached 10, I'll be again doing something, right? So when, the, when R1 equal to 10, then only this subtraction result will be zero. And if it is not zero, then move to the level whose move to the instruction whose level is given as L1. So in this type of situation, we use compare instruction. When you do assembly language coding, compare is a very important instruction. Do remember it is a non-destructive subtraction operation. So hope this part is understood. I am comparing, suppose I have done a keystroke. Keystroke value is in R1. So if the keystroke value is your has, uh, has D, has DH, that means it is, uh, H stands for hexadecimal. D is the ASCII code for your enter key. So whether I have pressed enter key, if I have pressed enter key, that means my input taking part is over. So in that type of situation also, we use compare instruction. Means I am getting something from keyboard and if whatever I have got from keyboard, if it happens to be enter key, then I should not go for again taking another input. I should stop taking my input, right? So I'm giving one number as input 243. At the end, I press enter, right? So when I press two, I will go for another input. I'll go for another input. But after pressing your enter key, I should stop taking the input process, right? So this is another example. Then next is test. Test instruction is used to check a particular bit position value of an operand. See, 
this how it is used see phase instruction is a non destructive and operation you know what is and a and d and right if both the values are one then only result will be one we know that in and and in all other cases your value will be zero we know that so what it does is phase instruction internally performs your and instruction what it does let me explain so here see one operand is given in that operand a particular bit position i want to see whether it is 1 or 0 i want to see whether it is 1 or 0 right means whether it is equal to 1 if it is so i'll do something else i'll do something different so that part i want to check so say my register content is r1 right r1 right r1 so in r1 some values are there i don't know what these values are 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 like it is there then i need to check a particular say bit position number 2 is 1 or not so this is b0 this, this is b0 this is b1 my bit numbers b2 so what i want to check is whether this bit value is 1 or 0 i say i want to check that so what I can do is I can perform one AND operation at this position as 1 and all others as 0, 0. Please see it properly. All others as 0, 0. And after the AND operation, if all the bits will become 0, 0, that means what? 0 flag will become 1. You understand that? A 0 flag will become 1. But only when, uh, sorry, the 0 flag will become 1 only when this position was your uh, 0, else it will not happen because I have ended with 1. If it was 1 here, then here I will get the bit result as 1. So if at least 1 bit is 1, then the whole result is not 0. That means 0 flag value will be 0. So why I use this and all, that also we need to understand. Suppose one uh, for a device, your in a for any hardware device, 1-1 one, one registers are attached and whether the device is ready for the operation or not, whether whatever you have asked the device to perform, whether it is done or not, to check that in your device, one status register is there. In device interface, one status register used to be there. Say keyboard. So suppose whenever there is a valid keystroke, then bit number 2 is set to 1 automatically. And if it is 0, that means there is no keystroke. So processor should read data from the keyboard only when this bit value equal to 1. So in that type of situation, we go for using your taste instruction. So how we will do taste, we will write taste, then I will write here taste, then your has to comma the name of the register, whatever is the name of the register. So maybe your status register or SR I am writing here, right? So this how we use. So what it does internally, it performs a AND operation. So after this instruction, branch equal to 0, right? If it is equal to 0, that means what? You have not till now um, press a valid key. So you should go for waiting. You, you do something here, then again you do this. Means keep on checking whether it has pressed the keystroke or not. Otherwise, if it has not, then you keep on checking, else you take the data from the buffer register into your processor. So taste instruction, basically what it, here I have explained where we can use it. But before that, you need to understand what it does. It performs a AND operation. What type of AND? Non-destructive. Meaning is, neither of the operands will be modified due to the operation performed. Only they will take part as in uh, inputs. Then operation will be performed status register will be updated and means your flag register will be updated and looking at the flag value we can take a decision what to execute next so this much is there for your taste instruction so set the condition code flags and all and neither of the operands is changed see the meaning of non-destructive is that only means neither of the operands will be modified both the taste and compare instructions are very very important taste will perform and that is non-destructive and compare will perform subtraction operation that is also non-destructive. Why, why they are used? For making some branching decisions and what they will impact? They will impact the status register.
flag values or we used to call them as transition codes and based on their values we can make some decision for branching so this much is there in this video thank you and if you are liking my um, explanations then like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you